Hello Libras, it's another general reading for the sign of Libra. So anyone with Libra strongly in their chart um, really could resonate with this message. Um, but that said, it won't fit for everyone. Um, it's because we're all moving through different types of experiences. Um, we ha all have our natal charts built differently. Um, we're all living in different parts of the world, going through different depths of experiences. So um, please be understanding that um, this will not fit for everyone, but hopefully there's something here um, that can help you in your way forward. All right, let's go ahead and see what currently is in the energy for this group of Libras. What is in the energy currently for this group of Libras, please? What is in the energy currently for this group of Libras? What is it in this energy currently for this group of Libras? All right, what's uh, Libra going to be stepping into in the next immediate future, the next seven to ten days, the next couple of weeks, the next three weeks? Let's not be too um, strict on the time frame here because we are all moving at different speeds. But what is Libra going to be step stepping into in the next immediate future? What is Libra going to be stepping into in the next immediate future, please? What is Libra going to be stepping into in the next immediate future? What is Libra going to be stepping into in the next immediate future, please? What is Libra going to be stepping into in the next immediate? The cards are very active. What is Libra going to be stepping into in the next? Woo! Boy, do you see these cards and what they're doing? There's just a lot of activity here. What is Libra going to be stepping into in the next immediate future? Let me just ground myself for a little bit here. What is Libra going to be stepping into in the next immediate future? What is Libra stepping into in the next immediate future? What is Libra stepping into in the next immediate future? Guidance for Libra, please. Guidance for Libra. Guidance for Libra, please. Guidance for Libra. Guidance for Libra. Guidance for Libra. Jeez. Are you ready for this, Libra? <laughs> I don't know if I am. Let's get going. This is a lot of excitement energy, a lot of excitement energy here for you, Libra. So let's see what's here. We have the lover's energy. We have the knight of wands energy. We have the death energy um, with the six of pentacles um, beginning to establish itself. So... <sighs> okay, let me get started here. Okay, there's just so much excitement in the air that I need to clarify just a little bit. Tell me more about this lover's energy, please. Tell me more about the lover's energy. Tell me more about the lover's energy. The death card flipped over again. Tell me more about the lover's energy. Magician. Knight of Pentacles. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we have a new, okay. <clears throat> I 
I mean, my throat is just clogged right now. Like, there's so much happening right now. Um, there's something that's building. There's something that's, there's, there is something new that's here. Um, what's interesting about it is coming in, it's like it's here, but it's, It's here. It's here, but it's... Is it a lot of everything going on, but you're not sure of the stability? You're not sure of the stability? Why is the Knight of Pentacles in reverse? You're not sure of the stability? But it's, there's a lot there's a lot of conflicting energy here and there's a card I have this stack of the stack next to me and the top card while I was sitting here I didn't do anything and the top card fell off onto the desk that's I have two desks one that's taller one that's shorter and the top card fell off slid off onto the shorter desk without me touching it and I went to pick it up and it is the Emperor in reverse all right, so I'm putting it upright in the deck because I have all my cars upright in the deck. If they come out and land in reverse, then I keep them. But <sighs> there's something here. There is someone here or some kind of opportunity here that you're working to bring in. That you're working to bring in or that's here. But... The part of you that is the inspired part, the, the part of you that is living life differently now, that is starting life again, or that is starting something new again, because the hermit is here clarifying the Knight of Pentacles. There could be a Virgo here. Um, there could be a Virgo here or an earth sign here that has come in from the outside, from some other place has come in in a very inspired way, in a very optimistic way. Somebody has come in here. Somebody is coming in, whether it's a job or a new opportunity or a new lover or a new family member or something. Somebody is coming in and they're feeling very optimistic about this. This person is coming in. I feel like this person is coming in, walking in through the door or walking into your environment in some way. Okay, I'm putting these back into the deck. Um, but for you, there is, um, doesn't it just seem like the energies are similar here to me? It just seems like there's someone here that you're not sure about. You're not sure about this. You're not sure about the stability here or about the tangibility or about how concrete this is. It could be a new offer, could be a new person. It's something that has just happened. You're not sure. This magician has a weird energy to it. It has a weird energy. What? Tell me more about the magician. Tell me more about the magician, please. There's that death energy again. There's something here because we have the four of cups with the death energy with the magician. There's something that you're not sure about with this new love opportunity or this new opportunity um, that fills your heart. It just fills your heart. It is something that's so beautiful. It fills your heart. It has a sense here of destiny, of divine connection of something that isn't able to be expressed with words. Um, there is some sort of decision that needs to be made now, um, but there's something here with this Knight of Pentacles in reverse that you're not quite sure of the stability or the depth of this offer. Because we have death here twice. You have learned quite a bit in your past. You have been through the ringer. You have been through um, quite a journey. 
And in these experiences, you have learned a few things about red flags, about what you need to watch for, what to pay attention to, danger signs, signs of emptiness, warning signs, and there's something here that makes you worried. Now, I don't know if this is because you're just being very, very careful right now, being very careful, being very discerning to not make decisions that are the same old decisions, or if there is actually something to be concerned about. And I think that's where you're at right now with whatever this is. And this could be just something small because this is a short term reading. So it doesn't have to be a big, huge life changing thing. It can be something small, like maybe you have a new idea um, for for a, a product that you're designing, or uh, maybe there's a new project that you've been promised. Like somebody comes and says, um, if you do a good job on this, then then I think it's a great idea if we have you work on this thing over here. You know, like it could be some sort of promise that was made that really is something that you would really love, but you're not quite sure of the reality of it for some reason. You're not quite sure of the reality. of You could be have been just introduced to someone who says that they've been watching you for a long time and they really uh, would love to get to know you better. And, you know, and everything they say um, it, it would normally resonate in such a powerful way, but there's something here that just, you're, you're doubtful. There's a doubt here. This is about doubting, um, doubting this energy here. You're doubting it and it's okay to doubt because that shows that you are being very aware and logical and logical and intuitive about your own protection. Okay. Now I see we have the Knight of Wands. <laughs> and the Knight of Wands energy is an energy that's coming towards you that is a very fast moving energy. It's very passionate. It's a lot of passion. There's a lot of chemistry. There's a lot of excitement. Um, so whether this is a some new opportunity that's being promised to you or a job that's being offered to you or some not new invitation that's being offered to you, it's being offered in a very excitable very exuberant, um, passionate way. It's coming towards you in that way. Um, could be a Scorpio as well. Could be a Gemini here. Um, we do have the death energy here. So this is a huge transformation from what was. From what was in your experience, this is a huge transformation. And maybe it's you who've made a transfer transformation. Maybe you have overcome something significant in your life, or you have completed a major milestone in your experience in some way. You have found a certain kind of victory here with a death energy. Um, you have really recovered from something and you've learned a great deal and you've really kind of risen up, you know, in a different new way. Yeah, it's been hard on you. And yes, you have been um, through the trenches in this, but ultimately it brings you to a new place of victory and allows you to start something new. It's interesting that the Six of Pentacles comes in um, sort of in the reverse, like um, Six of Pentacles is stability in finances, stability and equality in the giving and the exchange of energy, of money, of work of effort put in and effort received, all of those, um, just like when you go into a store, you don't really expect to get anything free from the store. You have to exchange money to get something from the store. Um, there's always an exchange. And here, the Six of Pentacles is sort of in the reverse here. So um, it could be that you are being offered something that in the past hasn't really panned out or something. There's something that you're doubting here. There is a doubting energy. Why is the Six of Pentacles? Oh, geez, in the reverse. Four of Cups flies out so fast. There's something here that you might not be wanting. You're being offered something. The moon. You're not sure here. <laughs> You're not sure about this. You need to find out more. You, there's a need here to get more information. There's there's a need here. I think you're wanting more information. Before you get too excited about this, you're wanting more information here. High Priestess. You're not going to make any decisions. You need to think about this. You know, this is what you're thinking. You need to think about this. You need to 
um, go to your quiet place, find your sanctuary. You need to meditate, connect in, find your balance, find your own wisdom, find your own footing here because there's more information that you're needing here. You're not going to just take this at face value here. It's logic. It's rationality. It's, it's taking something that's very emotional and being brought forward in a very emotional way and taking it and sitting back with it and saying, okay, logically, what is logical about this? What is practical about this? What is common sense about this? It's hard to do that too, because it's much more fun to be in the emotional state of it, to be in the excitement of it. Uh, but there's something here that you're trying to put logic to and find more information about here. It's not that you're, you're, you're not, it's not that you're unwilling to accept this or to go down this road. It's just that you need more information. You, you're, you're not wanting to move this fast. It doesn't hurt to slow down. In fact, going slow is often much more beneficial in the long run than going into something quickly. And I think you've probably learned that lesson or there's something here that you're applying from something that you've learned in the past, because there's something here that you are doubting about the equality or about the there's something here that you are questioning about the realisticness of this, the practicality of this, the real equality of this exchange. Yeah, you're looking for more information. You're not sure about this offer. You want to hold it. You want to see how it feels to you. You want to spend time by yourself analyzing this, seeing how it feels a week from now, seeing how you feel two weeks from now. It's nothing that you're going to want to move quickly on, I don't feel. It's nothing that you're going to want to move quickly on. Okay, let's see how this moves into the future. How What happens with this situation in the, in the upcoming weeks? What happens with this in the upcoming weeks? Eight of Wands. Lots of communication. Eight of Pentacles. Oh my gosh. Eights. Look, there's another eight. There's three eights so far. Queen of Cups. The World. Three of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. Three eights. I just got the chills. So there's something here that you're realizing. In the next few weeks, there's something here that you're coming to a decision about. Tell us more about the Eight of Cups, please. More, I'm not confused. I'm going to use this other deck. Tell us more about the Eight of Cups, please. Star flipped over. When, when I get to the Eight of Cups, I'll bring in these cards. Give me a second here. These are This is really powerful energy, so I'm going to just take it slow. There is a need here. You will slow this down, okay? I feel like a slowing down of the energy. Okay, the cards that are on top of the Eight of Cups, this walking away energy, is the Five of Cups with the Six of Swords, with the Ten of Swords, and the Ten of Pentacles. So you are making some major transformation here. It's a major transformation in your life. It's part of the bigger story. This is just the next few weeks, but there's a much bigger, there's a much bigger story here. <sighs> Okay. 
Well, there's definitely something here that's been started. Something is being started. It has already been started. Okay, so something has already been started with the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles is one of the easier energies to be in. It's it's optimistic, it's hardworking, it's working in a team of people, and it's about something that has already been started. It could be creative, it could be industrial, it could be artistic, um, but it's something that has already been started. And over the next few weeks, you're going to be working hard to communicate, to go back and forth, to negotiate, taking action, making choices, um, being very busy about whatever thing this is. Okay, so you're going to be taking, you're going to be busy. It's a, it's going to be a, a busy time period for you. It's about whatever this is. Whatever this is here. This new incoming opportunity or person here, this Knight of Wands that's coming in very quickly, very passionately. Um, it could be something at work that you don't really have a choice in. Like this comes in and you may not have a choice in doing this. It could be something at work that somebody gives you and says, okay, this is just a surprise thing. We've got to do this really fast. Everybody in, everybody hands, hands together. Let's get this done. Let's, and if you guys do a good job on this, then let's see what happens next or whatever. Could be something like that. It could be someone coming in and saying, um, I want to spend time with you. I feel a deep connection with you. Let's um, work on this project together or let's go on a few dates together. And there's not really any reason for you to say no, right? There's not really, really a reason for you to say no, except for you have this doubt. But just because you have doubt doesn't mean that you can have to say no. You just need, you know, as I think you're just being very discerning, being very careful, being very observant, um, and still going with the flow, going into action with this and, and just seeing how this thing pans out with the Eight of Wands. It's busyness, it's communication, it's negotiation, it's action. And it's positive. So you're having a really good attitude about this. Um, you're, you're not thinking negatively about it. You're saying, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to step into this and I'm going to see how this goes. I'm going to see what happens. I'm going to see what actions are taken. I want to see how people respond. I want to see if this person or this opportunity or whatever is being promised um, is something that actually comes into being instead of just words or instead of just fancy talk. Um, but, but you have a really good attitude about this going into the future here. Um, Eight of Pentacles is here too. So you're really worrying, you're willing to work hard on this. You're willing to stay focused on this. Um, you are not becoming distracted by other things that normally you would become distracted about. So you're, you're really buckling in and you're, you're giving this a shot. The whole time though, this is the Queen of Pentacles. Damn, it's the Queen of Pentacles. I mean, um, you're able to think rationally about this. The Queen of Pentacles can think rationally that she can see the details. <laughs> she can see the details. She's a hard worker, but she doesn't do things that are silly. You know, I mean, she really is pretty serious minded about what she spends her time doing. Right. This Queen of Pentacles. I mean, she has something to lose here. The Queen of Pentacles has this gold, has this security, has this, um, safety net here that um, she is not willing to risk. So while she has a good attitude and she's busy at work with this over the next few weeks, um, she knows what is silly and what is not silly, what is what is promising and what is a waste of energy. And she is staying very much on track with the details of this. So she's being very watchful and she's being very smart with her time and very practical with her thoughts. Um, I love this blend of energy because it's a blend of passion, hard work, um, groundedness, and attention to detail. It's really great, Libra. It's really great. It's really a great energy. I mean, there is a backstory here. As you have learned how to care for yourself and to love yourself and you put priority towards yourself rather than always to other people, um, you have left a part of yourself, that old part of yourself, that old perception, 
um, that old way of doing things here, um, that old style that you used to be in where you used to um, put yourself in situations that ultimately were painful or were not rewarding. Um, you have found a different way of walking now. You have a different lifestyle now um, that is more confident and more secure um, and very much at peace with your life. Um, you, you have moved from a cycle of pain, a cycle of betrayal, into a, a new flow of abundance, a new flow of positivity, a new flow of um, improved finances and improved um, reality. And this is not something that you're willing to really part with at any time soon, especially for um, the Knight of Wands energy, right? This fast-moving, stormy energy um, that can bring um, beautiful, plentiful rain to the farmers, but can also um, be, the wind can be strong and it can blow down buildings and can cause destruction. This kind of energy here. Um, you are not really willing to listen to a lot of promises. You would prefer to see results. You would prefer to see results. And in a way, results are promises <laughs> to you. Words are not promises to you. Results are promises. Evidence is promise, right? And so you have this new way of going about things um, where you're really allowing the logic and the intelligence within the mind to bring a security to the heart space is what it is. This is about boundaries. This is about self-awareness and about self-development and self-interest. Um, it is not a selfish energy, but a love of self energy. That's the Queen of Cups energy. This wall that you have built around yourself, this healthy protection, healthy boundaries, is allowing you to live in a new energy of love. And this is very attractive to people. It's very attractive to anyone who is in pain. <clears throat> it's very attractive to those who live in pain and live in darkness. And so when you shine your light out so brightly as a Queen of Cups, um, it is very important to have necessary protection and strong boundaries so that this love doesn't get um, depleted. Um, it doesn't get so that you don't, even in yourself, allow the boundaries to collapse, allow them to dissolve. Um, <clears throat> this is a new beginning and it does, it's affecting my throat chakra. So it is in the way that you protect yourself, the words that you say, the way you express yourself. Um, it does have a major role here with the boundaries that you are creating in your life. Um, <clears throat> again, this is a beautiful new beginning for you. And I feel like um, because you remember you have the death energy. That's where I'm getting the new beginning and where I'm feeling it. You have a death energy here. We've seen it come out twice. And you also have the Ten of Swords here with the Ten of Pentacles. It's talking about a rebirth, especially with the world here, uh, a rebirth now a new beginning now for you. And it is sort of in an infant state, but you have this power, you have this passion, and you have this new security um, within yourself, this new love, this cup that you have filled um, with your love that you carry for yourself. Um, and then you can give what spills over the top of the cup to others and nourish others. But when you have that cup of love, um, that's not something that everyone has. Not everyone has done the hard work that you've done. Not everyone who has invested in self as you have. And your inner light is glowing bright. It's glowing with love. It's glowing with kindness. It's glowing with um, care and consideration for humankind. And not everyone has that. And when you have that kind of energy, it's very attractive to others. And so, again, I think you're learning how to protect yourself here. Um, and you, you have a beautiful attitude. It's really precious and it's beautiful. And I can see even in this energy, the kindness and the consideration um, that you have mixed with logic. Um, it's, it's the Queen of Pentacles with the Queen of Cups blended together. Um, those two fragments within you blended together. Whether you are a man or a woman, it makes no difference. This is looking at the details. This is um, making sure that you continue to focus on self-care, self-love, self-awareness, what brings you happiness, what diminishes your energy, what diminishes your sense of self. 
Um, so there is something new that's coming in. It's coming in very passionately, very excitedly, very enthusiastically. You're taking a chance on this. You're working on this. But the whole time, you're staying very observant, very focused, um, and being very careful not to overgive, not to be unrealistic, um, to continue to protect what you have worked so hard to create within yourself. Okay, let's look at the guidance that's coming forward here for you. Libra, let's look at the guidance here. And then in the extended, I'll dig deeper into some of these energies to see what more we can get out. And I'll also look at the people who are around you and um, what, what their intentions are. So the guidance here is the Six of Wands. The Tower. The Nine of Wands. And the Nine of Pentacles. Damn. I mean, you have really hit a space of success with the nines, especially with the sixes too. It's, it's, you've hit your stride. Why is a tower here? Why is a tower here? Is this a big change coming in for you? Why is a tower here? Remember, this is just for the next few weeks. So a tower doesn't have to be a life changing thing. Um, it could just be something very surprising that happens in the next couple of weeks or that you're going through some sort of a surprise. Let's say you're at work and somebody just, <clears throat> maybe you land a new client. Your, your firm has a new client and there is a big, huge project that's coming in and you have to put everything else aside and you have to work on this new project. That could be a tower, right? <clears throat> it's a bi big change. King of Wands energy, Aries, Sun, wow. Aries Leo Sag with the Sun Leo energy. This tower. Wow, it's really powerful. Ace of Cups, Temperance. Ace of Cups flipped over. Whole bunch flipped over here. Five of Wands in reverse. But they all flipped over in reverse, which is interesting. And my deck is in the upright too, see? It's a tower here. I think it's just in like the, the snooping card, the gathering for the student card. <laughs> I think there's just a big surprise that comes in here for you. And you have to kind of work your way through this surprise in a logical, rational way, but still allowing yourself to flow in the excitement of this. Keeping yourself under control, though. It's something here, this King of Wands. Again, the King of Wands <laughs> comes in the energy of the Knight of Wands. Okay, so the King of Wands is an inventor. He's an enthusiast. He inspires. He influences. He invents. He creates. He moves into areas where there is nothing, and he builds, and he expands, and he steps into fear. And sometimes he can be crazy. Sometimes he can just be over the top. But but this person is usually successful in some way or another. He has built himself into a position of power, into a position of success. And um, in the public eye, usually um, because of the fearlessness he has to move into new spaces. He's coming in very powerfully, whether this is a job opportunity, a new person, whatever this energy is that represents the King of Wands, he's coming in very powerfully with some major new energy here that is promising, that's successful, that's powerful, that's healing, that's optimistic, that's wealthy. I mean, it's it's could be the prize here. It could be the prize or it's being said to be the prize. And then we have temperance. So there is an energy here of moderating this energy, <laughs> making sure that it doesn't take over your rationality, your logic, your way of finding balance, tempering it, tempering this craziness, making sure that you're staying even keel, that you're staying balanced, um, but still allowing yourself to flow. This is, it is a very beautiful way. And, and Libra, you do have the ability to do this with your strengths in your, in your sign. You have the ability to be balanced and still maneuver this crazy, enthusiastic, optimistic, um, powerful energy of the sun mixed with the tower. The guidance here is to continue forward, to step forward to, if you can, take a leadership role in this. You already know what your strengths and capacities are, right? You know what your strengths and capacities are, nine of wands. <laughs> you know what they are. You know what they are. 
So take, take it, take it in stride, step into this, be a part of this, see how it goes, right? See how it goes. You are a leader in whatever this is, or you can be a leader. Um, do not bow. You can bow to the law and you can obey the law, but you know now in this period of time that it's not necessary anymore for you to bow to man, to bow to their beliefs, to bow to what they think, to bow to their opinions. Yes, you can obey the law. You can fit in within a justice system, but you know now with the strengths and capacities that you have to bow to no man, right? And you're standing tall in what you know. So the guidance here is to continue moving forward, to continue to be courageous, to step forward and um, take part in this and be a part of this. Um, but be careful, be observant, be wary, um, be strong. You have the ability to, to, to do this and you will know as you continue forward, if this is gonna be something that actually pans out. Um, if you fight this now, it might be a little bit unreasonable to fight this now because you ultimately have power to walk away. You have the power when you're done with this project or when you're done with this, or as, as you've moved through this a certain point in time, you have the ability to say, you know, I don't think this is for me. I've given this a shot. I've done the best I could. Um, um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to walk away at this point. You have that power. You don't ever have to stay confined in a situation now. You know that. You are strong. You are powerful. And so the guidance here is to step into this, see what happens, give this a chance, and see what really pans out for yourself. But stay observant, stay def stay, stay on the defense here, and make sure that you're always, always staying balanced, that you're not getting caught up so much that you're losing your logic with this situation. So if it gets too out of control or if it starts to move too fast, the guidance here is to moderate that with the temperance energy. Moderate it. Slow it down. Know when it's getting out of control. So this means coming in out of the fire, coming in out of the passion, every once in a while, Libra, every night maybe, every morning, whatever your routine is, and see what you where you are. Find a quiet space, connect in, connect in, make sure you're in alignment, make sure you're feeling balanced, make sure you're feeling good about this, apply logic to it to make sure that you're not getting carried away into any kind of whirlwind here. Um, these nine energies are talking about your inner strength, your own personal reliance on yourself, not on anyone else, that you have the determination, you have the the um, freedom of choice. You have the individual will, the willpower. You have the ability now with these nine energies to really maneuver this river in a very adept and confident way. So um, while this energy might be very bursting and exuberant and enthusiastic and somewhat scary, um, you definitely have the resources. You have the, the canoe that's built just for this kind of river, right? You have the the, the best boat for this kind of river. You have the balance, you have the, the map, you have the plan, and you can move through this in a way where you're, where you're staying logical and rational and not getting caught up in the whirlwind, but still being a part of this and still allowing this to kind of flow. Um, and, and so that you can still participate in this. If this turns out to be um, the, the situation that it claims to be, then great, you're there and you have this and you can move forward in this. If this is how your ego is thinking it is or how your fear center is thinking it is, then you can pull back out and say, you know, I've given this a good shot. I've had a good attitude about this, but I just don't think this is for me. Please understand and walk away. And that's your right. And that's that's kind of how um, I think that you're, this, this is a guidance coming forward now. Interesting. Okay, Libra, I am going to move to the extended now, and I'm going to look deeper at, into this Knight of Wands energy, um, whether this is a person, a job, or something coming towards you. I'm going to look deeper into that, and I am going to look deeper into this lover's energy here um, to see if we can find more information about that. Um, this Six of Pentacles sideways, I also am tempted to look at. I don't want to look at too many, else the video just goes on too long, but... Um, Kind of interested in this three of pentacles energy. 
What is it that you're working on here? So I'm going to look into those four energies. I'm going to look into the Knight of Wands energy, the intention or the person here, this project coming towards you, this lover's energy. What is this decision about? What is this soul connection, this deep connection about? I'm going to look at the Six of Pentacles, this equality, this firming up of money, improvement of money, and then the Three of Pentacles, what, whatever you're working on. Those are the energies I'm going to look at in the extended. And then I'll look at the people who are around you and what their intentions are as the future comes to pass. All right. Thank you very much, Libra. It is a joy um, to read for you, to do these readings. And um, I wish you um, a beautiful week. Thank you all very much.